The last option in the manual draft feature is the step draft option. And this allows you to create a stepped parting line within the part to draft from. The first thing we'll need is to create a split line in our part. So we'll draw that up on the right plane. And I'm going to go ahead and go normal to the plane. And I'll use the line tool to draw this in. And we just want to draw a line horizontally. And then another at an angle, another horizontal line. Another at an angle, slightly lower than the first horizontal. And back across to the other side. The dimensions of this themselves aren't very important. Uh, you just want to make sure that this is not perpendicular, or this joint isn't perpendicular. If you have a sketch with perpendicular edges, the step draft feature will fail. So we'll go ahead and go back into the Features tab, choose Curves, and Split Line. And we just want to select the Projection option, and select out all three of the outside faces and click OK. Now unlike the parting line option of the draft feature, the step draft line, so this parting line here, is not going to act as our neutral plane. So we're going to create several planes here and look at the difference between uh, different neutral planes. So select the top face there and this point and click OK and then we'll create one more parallel to that top plane once again and this bottom point there. And if your sketch wasn't already, you just want to make sure this is lower or higher, doesn't matter as long as the two planes are separated. Next I'll go into the draft feature and we're going to choose the step draft option and keep the default tapered steps there. As the direction of pull, we'll start with the bottom face. And we want this to get smaller as it goes up, so angled in. So we'll go ahead and flip the direction of pull. And then for the parting lines, we'll choose out all these edges. Once again, we'll use the face propagation option just like the parting line and choose out at least one edge from each face and that will select out all of the edges as you can see by the preview arrows. I'll go ahead and set this to 3 degrees and click OK. Now if we take a look at the step draft itself we can see that all the lines or all the faces below the parting line have remained the same and all of the ones above have had a taper added to them. You'll also notice that the edge of the taper isn't touching the edges of the fixed faces here. And the reason for that is we chose the bottom face as the neutral plane. And so if you can imagine it created the taper up from the neutral plane and it's almost as if there's an imaginary line running through at an angle and cutting out that taper. So if we go in and change the neutral plane we'll see a change in the feature itself. So we want to change the direction of pull to this plane, flip that direction of pull back up and it looks like the parting line faces have been flipped, so we'll go ahead and choose the other face option and click OK. So it looks like it's selecting out that bottom area, so we just want to make sure that it's selecting the right face there. So we'll select out each edge and just make sure that that's correct now. So 
So now you can see the result of that. Once again, the bottom faces are kept static. But now we can see at that plane, these two edges are now coincident. But at the higher point here, these are still split off by several degrees. Once again, because it's being drawn up from the neutral plane. Lastly, if we were to switch the neutral plane to the top plane there, and click OK, you can see that anything below the plane actually gets drafted outward. So you see that bottom step area is actually drafted past the fixed faces. So you can see that the step draft gives you quite a few options. Um, it might be a little hard to visualize at first how the draft is going to come out, but you can just go and create the feature and always edit the feature if necessary.